After the intense residual effects of the shattering which birthed the universe had sufficiently died down, planets began to form around stars. Billions of years passed, and in those billions of years, on the billions of planets in the billions of star systems in the universe, it is a simple statistical inevitability that some develop the physical, chemical, and astronomical conditions for life to form. On one planet, positioned the perfect distance from a stable star, around deep-sea geothermal vents, a lucky series of chemical reactions led to a particular set of proteins which came together to form something which could be called life. Over the next million years, these complex arrangements of proteins and chemicals came to form single-celled creatures. In even more time, they developed simple organelle to move, grab, sense, store genetic information, and transport specific chemicals into and out of the cell boundary. Some even developed simple vervic capabilities, such as sensory and generative units, used to move, control, and detect the world around them. In these times, the shattering still rippled across the universe periodically, and this posed an evolutionary barrier to most life. Single-celled creatures were small enough and proportionally strong enough that the shattering was of little impact. However, multicellular creatures were nearly impossible, as they were swiftly ripped apart when the next wave hit. However, as the adage goes, life finds a way. There were two main survival strategies, and thus, from the soup of chemicals, amoeba, and protozoa, two major evolutionary paths diverged. The more common approach was to simply become heavier, both in mass and pivots. Over time, the cells which found themselves with more pivots and more mass were less affected by the shattering, as heavier objects require more force to move. When these cells clustered together, they would be less likely to be shaken apart, and could therefore begin to prosper using the advantages multicellular life offers. The other approach was considerably rarer. While most atoms contain pivots, about 10% of atoms do not, and therefore are totally unaffected by the verve. For some cells, active transport mechanisms could filter the pivoted from the pivotless when absorbing nutrients, and through enough time, and enough generations, they were able to rid themselves of pivots entirely. These pivotless life forms could therefore multiply and grow as much as they liked, with little care for the chaotic shaking of the verve, their immunity coming at the cost of no longer being intrinsically able to utilize the verve themselves. Over the next many millions of years, these two major branches in the tree of life evolved and spread across the planet, finding niches in every environment. Environmental pressures and competition for resources led to natural selection of creatures with randomly developed genetic advantages. This process led many plants and animals to develop specific features, such as fur to keep warm, claws to slash and climb, and sensory organs to smell, see, and hear. Those creatures and plants which came from the pivoted tree of life had the potential to evolve vervic appendages which could be moved or resonated at specific frequencies for magical effects. Some examples of vervic biological features include large ears, antennae, or antlers, which are used for sensing vervic vibrations, or pivot-dense appendages at the ends of tails and arms, which could be used to cast spells. The pivotless branch of the tree, being considerably less populous in the early years, were often outcompeted by their pivoted cousins, and therefore remain incredibly rare to this day, often forced into very specific niches or remaining exclusive to particular regions. However, once the multicellular barrier was crossed, being pivotless proved to often not be significantly disadvantageous, as it provided a massive advantage in stealth, as they do not create any ripples in the verve, which the pivoted could sense. As a result, when the first sentient creatures appeared and began to develop tool usage, fire, and civilization, both the pivoted and pivotless trees of life were represented in their number.